Defence lawyers in the Senzo Miwa murder trial will continue to cross-examine states, the state's first witness, Zandile Kumalo, when the case resumes in the High Court in Pretoria today. On Friday, Kumalo denied reports that there was an altercation between her and her then-boyfriend, Longwe Twala, resulting in the gunning down of the former Bafana Bafana captain. The defence said a witness would be called to testify that Miwa's friend, Dumelo Matlala, said a bullet hit Meiwa while he was trying to intervene in a fight between Kumalo and Twala. Uh, Meiwa was shot dead at the parental home of his singer girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo, in Fosloras, east of Johannesburg in 2014. Our reporter, uh, Criselda Lewis, is following the story. She joins us now live from court. Criselda, good morning to you. Uh, what, are you what, what have you seen this morning? Well, my lady, we're expecting uh, witnesses, Zandi Kumalo, to continue uh, being cross-examined uh, by the uh, defence uh, in uh, the High Court here in Pretoria. And as you correctly pointed out last week, Friday, she basically categorically denying assertions by the defence that there'd been an altercation inside the house which led to a gun going off and Senzo Miyua being shot dead. She basically says that uh, she and her then boyfriend, along with Walla, were in a very good space. That's why she had uh, said that he, he was able to uh, go and visit uh, the family home on the evening that Senzo Miyua had been killed. Remember that uh, Zandi Kumalo maintains that there were intruders who had come in on that night and had basically uh, robbed them, uh, had come in demanding cell phones as well as uh, money. And uh, that, uh, you know, what the defense uh, is basically saying, as you correctly pointed out, is that um, there's a witness that will be called in this particular matter who would testify uh, to Dumelo Majala, that is Senzo Meiwa's uh, longtime friend, uh, uh, basically saying that uh, Dumelo Majala had told that witness that there'd been an altercation inside the house and Senzo Meiwa had basically tried to, you know, uh, intervene in a fight, uh, this alleged fight that had taken place between Zandi uh, Kumalo as well as uh, Longwe Twala. But she says that's absolutely not true. There is no altercation that took place there. Also of importance, that we saw last week uh, then, uh, lady, is that um, uh, the uh, defense was also trying to poke holes in uh, uh, Zandi Kumalo's testimony. And re you'd recall she'd been asked uh, numerous times about the description of uh, the uh, two alleged intruders that came inside the house. While she had given a description of one of them being dark, uh, the defense says that Longwe Twala, in uh, his statements, had basically said that one of the intruders was light in complexion. And this was actually uh, done in several statements that were deposed by Longwe Twala. This according, of course, uh, to the defense. And, uh, you know, uh, towards the end of proceedings on Friday, a very interesting uh, a part of uh, this particular matter where uh, we somewhat got a glimpse uh, then, uh, lady, of uh, what the relationship between Senzo Miwa and uh, Kelly Kumala was like. Uh, she seemed to have been very frustrated by the relationship. Now, this is according to SMSs that were read out in court, which investigators had downloaded from the phone of Zandi Kumalo, who is the current witness. Now, in that, the defense says that Kelly Kumalo, uh, who is Zandi Kumalo's sister, had sent her multiple SMSs, which were read inside this court. And in those messages, she speaks about being emotionally drained, uh, basically saying that she doesn't know why she uh, brought Senzo Miyua into her life. And the various, there seem to be you know, a frustration on the part of uh, uh, Kelly Kumalo in that, um, you know, it, it seems that she was frustrated over the fact that Meiwa uh, didn't seem to uh, choose between her and uh, his estranged wife, Mandy. So you would know that uh, Senzo Meiwa had been married uh, at the time. And, uh, you know, that seemed to have been, according to Zandi Kumalo, she basically painting Senzo Miyua as a liar because the defense had asked uh, Zandi Kumalo what those SMSs that she received from Kelly Kumalo were about. And in one of her responses, she basically said that, uh, you know, Senzo Miyua uh, had basically lied um, while she could not directly pinpoint or say what exactly each SMS uh, was about and what brought about, uh, you know, those kinds of statements or SMSs that were sent to her by Kelly Kumalo. Uh, she certainly does uh, say that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Meiwa had, uh, you know, was a liar and basically, you know, uh, 
if uh, for lack of a better word, toying between uh, his uh, estranged wife and uh, Kelly Kumalo. And those SMSs seem to suggest uh, a frustration on the part of uh, Kelly Kumalo. In one of uh, those messages that she sent uh, to Sandy Kumalo, she says that she thinks that God is punishing her for letting this man be in her life and that uh, you know he's brought a whole lot of lies into uh, that have not only affected her but affected them uh, in their entirety so we're expecting uh, you know a lot of that uh, cross-examination as well to continue uh, this morning and uh, you know focus uh, to be put on trying to poke holes into what uh, Zandi Kumalo had basically uh, told this court and yep. lady so what time are we expecting proceedings then to kick off Griselda at uh, 10 o'clock this morning and just for our viewers as well we do stream this live on the SABC uh, YouTube page. So if anyone wants to catch it as well on uh, our other platforms, they can certainly do so.